Hey guys, Cody here from the local home team at Century 21. Q3 2022 has come to an end. So here we are bringing you the Windsor Essex County residential real estate stats for Q3 or end of September 22. All right, end of the month, we had 1,457 active listings on the market with 403 sales during the month. That gives us a 3.6 months of inventory ratio and that months of inventory ratio is the best gauge at what's going on in a market. Are prices going up? Are they going down? Do we have lots of supply or no supply? Uh, balanced market is considered between five and seven months of inventory. And we, again, we were at about 3.6. So it is still technically a seller's market. It's just not near the seller's market that we had back in say March when we had record high demand and record low interest rates and less than one month of inventory. That being said, uh, because we have had about five interest rate hikes this year, the average sale price has come down substantially from March is high where we were over 700,000. Right now we're around 524. Um, so let's take out the beginning of the year. Uh, 2021 on average for the whole year, average sale price about 547. So we're down about four and a half percent from 2021 uh, as a whole, just looking at the month of September. The average sale price for the year 2022 is not reflective of the true market conditions in the month of September. So let's just compare month to month. Uh, we're down about 5% from this time last year. Okay, and I would expect that that could even potentially fall a little bit further yet. I'm recording this on October 4th of 2022. There is potential that we could see one more interest rate hike this year. And if we do, that may potentially bring prices down a little bit further or the anticipation of that might already be priced into our current market conditions. Great news for buyers is right now we're actually seeing buyers get offers accepted with conditions in place that protect them things that were getting waived like financing conditions, home inspections, or even sale of their current property. Now a lot of buyers are actually getting those offers accepted. So I think that's a great layer of protection and it's encouraging for buyers that maybe have missed out on listings and, and buying a home over the last two years. We're still seeing a good number of sales come through. Of course, it's substantially less than we had last year and that's because of the interest rates. Um, we'll see what happens with these interest rates, but right now I do think it presents a good opportunity for buyers to get in at lower pricing than last year. Unfortunately, the interest rates are higher, but if you only lock in your mortgage for let's say two years, you might be able to refinance in two years at a lower interest rate because we do expect that by 2024, um, they're probably going to start decreasing the interest rates again. Okay, so we'll wait and see what happens. Of course, the Bank of Canada is keeping in mind the inflation rates and then of course the toll that the increases in interest rates are having on the average consumer's household budget. So let's wait and see what happens there. But encouraging for buyers, again, we're seeing conditions being accepted. Now encouraging for sellers, the, the actual levels of inventory in September were not as high as, as August. August was our record high at over four months for the past few years. Uh, we actually came down a little bit. Some of the listings that had been hanging around sold through during the months of September. So to me, it kind of looks like a balanced market, even though we're still under four months of inventory, things are just kind of getting figured out with all the news of these interest rate hikes. So we'll wait and see what happens. When October comes to an end, we will record a new video for you in November to alert you of what's going on with the market. Um, but anyways, be encouraged. Buyer or seller, there's still homes selling. There's still homes coming up for sale. And buyers, you're getting a chance to put in conditions again, which has been missed out on for the last couple of years. So if you have any questions about the current real estate market conditions here in Windsor, Essex, reach out to any of us at the local home team and we'd be glad to have a personal conversation with you and maybe educate you a little bit on what we're seeing boots on the ground firsthand here. Thanks. Bye for now.